What is up, my crazy subscribers? This is Joe King John 74, and today I'll be talking about Call of Duty Vanguard. I'll be showing you guys some details, some news about it, because there has been a lot of details and rumors being released about this game recently. And also, this game is being made by Sledgehammer Games, the same creators from Modern Warfare 3, Advanced Warfare, and also World War 2. So yeah, they're making a new World War 2 game called Vanguard now, so I'm guessing it's a sequel of some sort. So anyways... Let's start off with the first details, which is about the multiplayer maps. There's going to be 20 on release day, which is good. Which is good. We're going to see a lot of scenery in the beginning, which is not bad. You know, we're pretty sure they got really creative with the maps. I'm really excited for that because this is the first time ever they actually really that, released that many in the first week of release, bro. Compared to any other COD, I mean, there's like 14 or 12 maps. I mean, that's the lowest they've ever gone, which is sad. I mean come on man <laughs> you guys are making a lot of games and you guys keep cutting off maps because they want us to buy the dlc or the battle passes or the season passes they used to sell i mean it was bad but now they had in 20 maps i'm guessing they're trying to be creative now they're trying to get us back so which is not bad more maps the better the more sceneries the more fresh the game feels so anyways the next thing i would like to talk about is that uh most of the maps are actually 6v6 16 out of the 20 maps are 6v6. I'm guessing the other four are for face-off, which is the 1v1s, 2v2s, and the 3v3s. So the big question for me, though, this is a personal question. Um, where is 32 versus 32? <laughs> you know, we had it in Modern Warfare, and we had a little bit on Cold War. Where is it on this game, bro? It's a World War II game. We expect trench fighting, a little bit of tank fighting, and jets and all that stuff. Well, not jets, you know, just fighter fighter planes and stuff but it would have been nice you know to have some kind of a big big scale fight you know that would be nice on this type of game on world war ii of all games so um i'm hoping maybe comes in in the future or maybe it's just going to be a late announcement who knows maybe it's not going to be released until after the beta or it's going to be announced after the beta so uh i'm hoping it is available for this game because it looks sweet to have a large scale battle on so um I'm hoping it gets announced. Well, the rest of the stuff, like 6v6 maps, more than likely is for TDM, Domination, Search and Destroy, you know, the regular stuff. Which is pretty much, you're not missing out on a lot. It's just going to be, it's going to be a hell of a lot of maps. <laughs> As for the rest of the stuff, like weapons and kill streaks, there has not been any kind of confirmation from charlieintel.com. And uh, I'm guessing most of the stuff can be found during the, the trailers. I mean, you guys can go back to the trailers, watch which guns are available and stuff. So that's not a big deal. Um, as for the kill streaks, no confirmation whether or not the dogs are coming back or any other kill streak like napalm strikes and stuff. Um, it will be interesting to see like what kind of kill streaks they put this year. I'm hoping they do put a lot since they did put a lot of effort on the maps. Hey, put a lot of effort on the kill streaks too. So um, as for the next thing, which is the characters, um, there's some few confirmed characters. I mean, if you guys pre-order the game, there is some details on pre-ordering on certain characters. You know, you go, you'll get like this girl or this guy you know if you pre-ordered and all that stuff you know all that special stuff so um there's only like three characters confirmed so far or very few so um i never pay attention to those i mean they're just skins really just for the kids to get a little bit jump and joy about <laughs> just how people get it jump and joy about the damn diamond camel skins and all that stuff so it's just a little bit of fancy stuff but not that big of a deal to be honest unless you guys play the story mode or something i don't even know so um as for the next thing um i think this is just a personal opinion uh watch out for the servers <laughs> the servers in the first few freaking weeks of the of release day they're gonna be horrible man i've been playing call of duty since black ops 1 and i'm telling you i jumped into modern warfare 3 the servers were crap throughout the whole year call of duty advanced warfare the first month it was totally crap but then it got a little bit better and it was a little bit stable um as for call of duty world war 2 the servers were horrible on release day bro literally you'll be lagged out of the matches you'll be kicked out loading screens are forever i mean it was horrible i'm hoping this time they can actually succeed a lot better i mean i'm not wishing any kind of bad luck or any kind of bad juju on them or any bad vibes i'm just saying they gotta learn from the mistakes man so i'm hoping i am wishing they do well on the release day and they give us a proper call of duty on release day so um you know good luck you know i'm, I'm waiting to see more about this game to be honest and my height not really. I'm keeping my expectations low because I don't want to be so upset on release date that I just don't want to back, don't want to go back to COD to be honest. So um, 
that is it guys i wanted to talk about today you guys want to see more information make sure you visit charterintel.com because they usually have a guy behind the desk you know stealing all the information and just scattered it all over the internet so that is it leave a like and i'll see you guys later